Today's video, I'm going to talk all about merch by Amazon. And in the video, I want to explain exactly what Amazon merch is, how you can apply, and the software that we use to research, make designs, and then at the very end, I'm actually going to upload a design to show you how easy this platform is. First, let's talk about what exactly is Amazon Merch. And Amazon Merch is actually a print-on-demand service where you can upload your own images or text and you can sell shirts on Amazon. And I'm gonna show you a few examples. I made this when we were full-time RVing. RV life, happy wife. Really don't need this anymore because we don't full-time RV. And then I was able to put freeway flippers catch you on the flip, which is really good because then we can upload it and people can buy them through our links. And print on demand is really good for anyone who has a brand or maybe you sell a certain product or maybe you're an influencer, maybe you do videos, and maybe you are captain of your softball team and you're looking for ways to upload designs for your team. Amazon Merch is the perfect platform. So how it works is you actually have to apply to do Amazon Merch. You're able to at first upload 10 designs and it's what we call tier 10. So you start off with 10 designs, you can upload them. And then after you sell 10 designs, you tier up to the next level, which is tier 25. And then you sell 25 shirts and you tier up to 100, 500, 1000. We're actually on tier 2000, which is really exciting. Uh, but I know of people who are on tier 60,000 and that's a lot of t-shirts. When you upload the design, you are then able to go in, mark the price that you would like, Amazon takes their cut and you are left over with the royalties. So for example, if you sell a shirt and put the price for $19.99, Amazon takes $14.76, leaving you with $5.23 in royalties. The best thing about this is they actually, all you're doing is just taking a text or a design that maybe you paid for, uploading it, once it sells, Amazon does all the print on demand for you. They handle the customer, they handle the returns, they handle the sale, they ship it to the customer. You don't have to do anything and that's the best thing about it. All right, so next is how do you apply? Well, all you do is go to their website and I'll leave a direct link down below. And what you're gonna do is there is a little spot that says start invitation and you are going to click on that, fill out all the information. Usually it's just your name, address, if you have a business, you can put in your LLC, your website, a little blurb as to what your plans are for the platform. I mean, everybody is to upload designs that are unique, that don't copy anyone else, that are not trademarked and something that you would like to sell because it's the best idea for your brand. If you don't have a business or brand, just put in your personal information. They will ask for your social. If you have a business, they'll ask for your LLC. And that's really just if in the case in 2020, you make enough money, they will send you a 1099 that you will have to give to your CPA or whoever does your taxes and claim that. And that's really all you need. It's a very simple process. It only takes a couple minutes. After a few days or weeks, they will let you know if you've been accepted into the print on demand service. I know some people where they apply and it takes just 48 hours. I've heard of other people taking weeks and other people it taking months. So it really depends, especially right now with everything going on. Amazon's a little behind on emails and stuff. It's free to join, so you might as well. Now let's talk about the software. Now we use Merch Informer and the reason we do is because it's an all-in-one tool. You get to design the shirts in it and then also do all the research. And that's really important when selling on Amazon because SEO is number one. You need to figure out what keywords people are searching for, so that way they're going to find your t-shirt. So let's jump in the computer and I'm going to show you exactly how Merch Informer works. Really quickly, I want to show you exactly what Merch Informer is. It's definitely the software that we like to use to find different shirt designs. What's really nice is they have a lot of tutorials, especially if you just purchase the software. You can watch them and learn about all the different features. So all the features are on the left-hand side over here. They've got everything from looking up keywords to finding competition, researching if something is trademarked, to finding different trends, 
and analytics and optimizing your listing. So really it has a lot of good features. And what I really like about it is that not only can I use it for research, I can use it for designs. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna jump in, show you what that looks like and show you exactly how simple it is to make a design for Amazon Merch. So when you sign in, you get to choose whatever particular product. Let's design a t-shirt. And you can even change the different product color. Maybe you wanted to make, you know, a white, something with a white t-shirt, or maybe you needed something with red. I usually choose black because a lot of my text designs are just plain white. But on the left hand side, you can see all the different features of this. They do have clip art that you can use. I'm just going to do something simple with text. So right now, let's put I miss spelling. And I want that color to be white and I want this to be a little bigger so you can see the font size. I'm actually going to put that down there. I'm going to move this up just a little bit. There we go. And then you can move this up. That was really it. That didn't take me very long to make that. And then all you have to do is hit download. Let's go over to Amazon Merch. I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to upload a design. Okay, so everyone will have a dashboard and it will show the different, it will show the tier you're in. So we're in tier 2000. We have published 1,338 products and we are able to submit another 92 today. And then it shows last seven days, we have made $24.72. Keep in mind, Amazon just started putting the listings live where their print on demand services were shut down due to everything going on. They just now opened it. So they're slowly making different products live, which is why our sales have been so low. But you also have a manage where you can manage all the different designs and then analyze where you can see your sales, see which products are selling. What we're going to need is the create. That's where we're going to go to upload the I miss bowling design. You can see all the different products that they offer. And so what you do is you select the products. For this one, I'm going to keep it at that standard premium shirt tank top and then let's do long sleeve and then you can also select the UK if you would like but for this one I'm just going to start in the US which is com hit continue I'm going to upload from my computer the I miss bowling design okay so I'm going to look right here and I think I'm going to take that one off I think it would be better if it had a darker font so then from here we're going to click on edit for each product that we chose and you can decide if you want men women or youth and then you can choose which colors I'm gonna do black red blue maybe purple maybe green and then you can decide how much you get so $19.99 if I were to sell this shirt for $19.99 I would get five dollars and twenty three cents I usually start my shirts off a little lower just to attract buyers. So that one's good. Then I'm gonna to go to the next one. Select pretty much the same colors. And then I chose the long sleeve because I figure, well, maybe some people live in cooler environments and would like a long sleeve shirt. Now you come down here and your design title. I miss bowling, funny, bowler, and then you're not supposed to put t-shirts. You can't put t-shirt. And then the brand, let's leave freeway flippers. And then the bullets. So you try to put as many keywords as you can. So are you looking for a funny bowling tee? Well, this design has a funny saying that will make your bowling teammates laugh and then perfect gift for the bowler in your family mom dad sister brother husband wife friend team member and then you go down and then if everything looks good you hit publish and it will show your design is going to be for the following products which is true and it will be searchable so you are able to make it non searchable and if you did that only you would have that link so let's say that you were designing something for a a team a sports team 
and you wanted a specific design, but you didn't want it to show up on Amazon for other people to buy, you could do non-searchable. But if you want people to buy it, you would click searchable and then publish. And there we go. So it shows four listings are submitted. So under the manage page, you can see it's under review along with the other ones that I submitted today. So that's it. That's Amazon Merch. It's pretty simple to upload a design. See, that was a piece of cake. Nothing to it once you get accepted. And there's so many videos out there to help you know exactly how to upload to Amazon Merch and how to create a listing with the title, where to put your brand, your bullet points for all your keywords. Uh, but before I end this video, I wanted to give you a couple more tips and just some information about Merch by Amazon. So one of them is Amazon, you get paid every single month and you hook it up to your bank account. And what's the best about that is once you upload so many, like we have 1300 uploaded, sometimes I don't even check it or look at it and it's passive income. It's just, it's everything's still selling and every month we get a paycheck, which is really nice. So the royalties get deposited into your checking account every month. I showed you about leaving the link private. So you do have that option if you wanted to upload something, maybe even like a surprise gender reveal where you didn't want anyone to know what your shirt was. You could keep it private and that's your decision. And then that link you can just click on and you don't have to worry about it being on Amazon. So that's a really nice feature that they offer and it works very well with things that you just don't want the normal public to be able to purchase. Trademarks. So I mentioned it a little bit. Make sure if you are going to be listing on Amazon, they are sticklers, which is a good thing. They protect trademarks. So you cannot put anything in your description or your, your title that is trademarked. And that's just something to keep in mind. And there's lots of ways that you can check it. You can go to the uh, USPTO, which is the Patent and Trademark Office. You can look up keywords, phrases, or I mentioned before, Trademarkia is a really good tool, but just make sure you don't even try it. Like there's some people that are like, well, this person did it. That's not an excuse. Just because somebody did it doesn't mean that you're gonna be able to get away with it. Don't put Nike, don't use the Swish, don't use a design that looks similar to something that is already trademarked because you are gonna get in trouble. You'll get your account shut down and then you've lost your privileges to sell on one of the best platforms out there. So the trademarks, when you're looking them up, if you are going to upload to UK or Germany, make sure you realize that they have different trademarks in the United States. So you're gonna to wanna to go to whatever website they have for trademarks to check on those. And that's a good tip because I remember I used to check the US, UK, and Germany, and I uploaded a shirt that was fine in the United States, but I didn't realize that the UK actually had a tra trademark for it, and it got rejected. And if you get too many rejections, or you get infringement or IP claims, then there's some sort of algorithm that Amazon has that says, hey, this person's not following our rules. They shouldn't be selling on our platform. So always be aware of that. Make sure you're not just checking Trademarkia for the United States, but you're checking the UK and Germany as well. And realize that even though it's an open application, anyone can apply, Amazon has the right to reject your application. Not everybody gets accepted into Merch. Just realize if you do get rejected, it's not the end of the world. There's so many other print-on-demand platforms. There's Redbubble, there's Teespring, there's Etsy, there's Printful there is Shirtly now. There's lots of places that you can go even if you can't sell on Amazon and you can upload your designs. If you have any other questions about Amazon Merch, the Merch by Amazon process, applying, or any other question that you have, make sure you leave them in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you as a viewer. We love making new content about everything that we do to make money. And right now, this is the best time to start building those different e-commerce platforms to be able to build multiple streams of income. So with that being said, until next video, I'll catch you on the flip.